sister, what have you done? Hey, little sister, who's the only one? Hey, little sister, who's your superman? Hey, little sister, who's the one you want? Hey, little sister, shotgun, it's a nice day to start again. It's a nice day for a white wedding It's a nice day to start again Hey little sister, who is it you're with? Hey little sister, what's your vice you wish? Hey little sister, shotgun, oh yeah Hey little sister, who's your superman? Hey little sister, shotgun it's a nice day to start again It's a nice day for a white wedding It's a nice day to start me back home, yeah. Hey, little sister, what have you done? Hey, little sister, who's the only one? I've been away for so long, so long. I've been away for so long, so long. I let you go for so long. It's a nice day to start again. Come on, it's a nice It's a nice day to start again There's nothing fair in this world There's nothing safe in this world There's nothing sure in this world There's nothing pure in this world And there's nothing left in this world It's a nice day for a white wedding It's a nice day to start again It's a nice day for a white wedding Hey what's up YouTubers, Lee John Blackmore here at Super Easy Guitar. So this week we're doing White Wedding by Billy Idol, let's zoom in and get straight into it. So to start off with, I'm doing this little harmonic here. You don't have to do it. It doesn't sound amazing on the acoustic. I'm just resting my second finger, resting it on the string, down, up, downs. Slide it down. Can you hear the harmonics in there, right? If you played amped, like live or something, it probably sound better. Okay, and then I'm just doing this B minor pentatonic to kind of mimic what's happening on the bass. Doesn't matter what fingers you use, B minor pentatonic, so that's the fifth, sorry, that's the seventh fret on the bottom E string. Seven, seven, ten, seven on the A. 9, 9, 7, 10, back on the E. So this next section, we got the B minor bar chord. So just hold down the B minor chord there, strum, let it ring, and come back on the B note, the second string. And that's two, three, four, and then three, two, one. So two, three, four, three, two, one. E, D. You can put two little strums on the end. This does it again. D. And finish with that big power chord. That's when I start doing this palm muting. 
In fact, for the first verse, I go to the B up here. Just because it gives it a slightly different voice in. So I'm just muting here, just chugging down. Okay, so that seventh fret. Hey, little sister, what have you done? Back to the A, the fifth fret, and E. All power chords. B, seven. A, five. B, A. Back to B. Chorus. It's a nice day to E start again. B minor, okay, so A major. It's a nice day to start again. The second time round, it's a E, nice day for a D, white wedding. And then that repeats, it's a E, nice day to D, start again. Now, second verse, Steve Stevens does something a little bit different. He does something like that, okay? So... Because I couldn't sing it and play the rhythm, probably need more practice, definitely need more practice. <laughs> um, I'll show you what's going on, okay. Second finger, seventh fret. Now, you don't have to do this for the second verse. You could just stick to that, the, the B power chord thing. You could play it down there, like I do in the third verse. So B, A, E, same thing, right? Except, Now, Stevie kind of does it with this. He flattens that third finger and removes it to expose the first finger in the sixth fret on the G string. So you're getting this. Except we've got the root on as well. So second finger, seventh fret on the E string. First finger, sixth fret on the G. Third finger, seventh fret on the D and pinky, also 7th fret, now on the G. So you hit the bottom E first, and then you go over to those two middle strings, the D and G. Now I'm muting on the bottom E, and I'm not muting on the two middle strings. So kind of get used to that first. You don't have to do it, right? And then what he does, he removes that pinky well. Um, he doesn't. He flattens the finger, right? But I'm removing the pinky, okay? So like that, the pinky gets removed and back on. So you hear that. Okay, and then the second time round, I'm hitting the open A string, so it's basically going from B to A, except we're using the open A. Okay. So you can kind of use whatever... <laughs> Still can't talk. You can kind of use whatever rhythm you want there. If you're singing it and playing it, you might find it a bit tricky, and I kind of, you know, just winged it to get around it, as you probably realised I do in most of my videos. <laughs> but that's what's going on. Okay, so then we're into the second chorus. It's an A, nice day to E, start again, B minor, exactly the same, right? And then it goes E, D, B minor, and repeats. So then we're back into this intro section. Now, I've repeated what I just did in the beginning. Just to keep it simple, now Stevie does this kind of... He plucks the A string and with his fingers, he kind of does the, the melody. I didn't incorporate that in there, but if I play it slow... Mm -hmm. 
So that'll be the turnaround, but... I'm just doing exactly what happens in the intro. It's entirely up to you what you add in, okay? So then when we're into the third verse, I like to do the power chords down here, as I mentioned earlier. B, A, E. Chorus is the same again. It's a nice day to start again, and so on. But now there's a bridge section in there. Now, when I used to do this live with my trio, I just used to hold on this. We used to break everything down, and I used to hold. There's nothing fair in this world. And on the record, you get... You get all this feedback. But I noticed Steve Stevens... He does that little position again, except he picks them out. Instead of muting them, he just plays them like that. So it's entirely up to you what you do. It's kind of a crescendo, it's a bridge section, and it crescendos. There's nothing in this world. There's nothing sure in this world. So you kind of get it, make it louder. So as long as you build it up to the next section, it's going to work, okay? And it, the whole song just finishes on this chorus. It's a D for a E wedding, B minor. And then it's E, a D, B minor. And again, finish. It's a nice day to start again. So there you have it guys, hope you enjoyed this week's lesson. Please don't forget, hit that subscribe button if you'd like to receive my weekly updates. And don't forget, I don't get paid for these cover lessons guys. If you'd like to spare some loose change to help me out on this channel, it would be massively appreciated. I've also got some links below for some merch. I've got a Spotify playlist that you might enjoy. And if you want to send me a message, hit me up on Instagram and I'll do my very best to get back to you. Thanks for your support, as always, guys, and I'll see you again the same time next week. Enjoy!